I had no idea it was so beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Their first look at their memorial, which sits between the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial on the National Mall. It represents uh, pretty much the value that the people are showing for the Second World War veterans. Long overdue? Long overdue. Well, you deserve it. Thank you. It is saying thank you to these men and, yes, some women that is behind the Patriot flight. The trip starts early and ends late, but as you'll see, is worth every minute. It's an early October morning at Albany International Airport. A band welcomes nearly 60 World War II veterans, each one of them being flown to the nation's capital free of charge. For most, it is the first and the last time they will ever go. Bill Peake, a World War II veteran himself, started the program two years ago. They came home from the war, they went in their homes, got up the next morning, went and got a job. No one ever said thank you to them. What sends these guys are spaghetti suppers, uh, Boy Scout paper drive. It's the community all getting together and say we want to honor our World War II vets before it's too late. We want to make sure that they know that we care. And the caring never stops on this trip. <laughs> As they arrive at the airport in Baltimore, a gauntlet of active duty service members and volunteers welcomes them. Have a great day. The emotion evident in the veterans' eyes and smiles, but it doesn't compare to the emotions they experience at the memorial. I am so impressed. It's just beautiful. If you can, if you can call a memorial beautiful, this is. Jeez. The memorial represents every U.S. state and territory. There are towering arches for both theaters of war, the Atlantic and the Pacific. And then there are the 4,048 stars, representing the more than 400,000 Americans who lost their lives fighting for freedom. All the credit goes to them, really. Yeah. They didn't make it. We did, so. So are you here for them as well? I mean, yes, yes. You, you bring them with you? Yeah. Oh, you can never forget them. Harold Williams of Chatham and Ralph Avery of Clavrock were both on Normandy Beach. They were young men who saw the worst of war on D-Day, and this trip brings back those tough memories. I don't think anyone would want to see the carnage that day. It, it's not describable to me. I don't know how Harold and I ever got off that beach. But, uh, but I guess God was just, yeah, he was just Lord, watching for us. Lord watching over us. This memorial to their heroism was a long time coming, only completed five years ago. Yeah. Former Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole helped get it built and has been here about 80 times just to greet his fellow World War II vets. These guys are proud of it. They haven't really, some of them thought about it for 50, 60 years. And they leave here with, you know, a tear in their eye and but hope in their heart. Bill calls these honor flights the best veterans program he has ever worked with. Time really is of the essence to get veterans here to their memorial. In fact, three quarters of all people who served in World War II died before this memorial could even be built. And sadly, we're losing more every day. Two people who were supposed to be with us on this flight passed away before they could make this trip. And I look around and think of how many, uh, how many have gone already, you know, and how many, there's not a lot of us left. We just lose people every day and, you know, to age. Just too bad. But a wonderful bunch of guys. And on this day, a grateful bunch as well, that they can see their country and their community cares enough to bring them here to say thank you for your service. Almost brought tears to my eyes on occasion. I never thought it would be as uh, well organized. It gave us the sense that we, we did my we did something that we at the time we didn't realize we were doing and we're being uh, given credit for something that happened years ago oh,